always had an interest in the ACC. I always dreamed about coaching in the ACC. And when I was an assistant coach and left to become a head coach, my goal was to get back and be a head coach in the ACC. So I don't follow the other conferences nearly as close. And I love the idea that, that I've been able to uh, be in the ACC competing uh, as an ACC head coach for, for 10 years and now working on number 11. Uh, but whoever replaces uh, the coaches that you mentioned, Jim Beheim and Leonard Hamilton and myself, they're, they're going to be terrific coaches. They're going to be able to sustain or, or build upon what we did, just like I think John Shire and Hubert Davis will. They, they played for and coached under their mentor. So they, they, they have a very strong foundation for what they need to do because they learned it from the best. What do you like most about your team this year? What I like most about my team? Well, right now they're healthy. <laughs> now we have uh, 12 scholarship players and two walk-ons and they're all 14 scrimmage the other day. When's the last time you could say that? Well, <laughs> honestly, it wasn't the scrimmage before. We had four guys out that week. The very first day, we had the whole squad there. You know, we do skill work and then we build up to teamwork. The first day, we had four guys, three of them sprained their ankle. Three, stepping on someone's, stepping on someone's foot, going for a loose ball and stepping on a guy's leg. And so, uh, in, on, on the very first Monday, uh, what was that, September the 28th, I believe, that was a Monday, 27th or 28th, uh, we had three guys go down and I was like, what in the world is happening to us? The good part is by Thursday, uh, two of them were back and by Saturday, all three were back. So, and now we've been, been back for a while. Coach, how important, obviously last season, Nobody really had an off season. How important, especially now that you are slowly getting guys back and healthy again, how important has this off season been for you guys, both on and off the court? Yeah, the, the off season has always been a tremendous part of preparation. You know, our, our belief is that you prepare in a chronological order. So you spend time with your players during the summer. They spend time getting to know each other in bonding. You spend time working on skills. Then you spend time uh, implementing your offenses and your defenses. And eventually you build towards game preparation or preparing for an opponent. And right now, we're in that stage. We've put in our offense, we've put in our defenses, and now we're getting ready to play opponents. If we can keep that up and stay healthy, uh, I'll be excited about the start of the season in November. One of the teams you've really battled with over the past couple of seasons is Virginia Tech. I think you guys have fairly split the series, and it's pretty much two of the games have been in, in overtime. What do you like? What, what intrigues you about what Mike Young is building? Oh, I think Mike Young has done a fantastic job. One of the, one of the things that Mike did is he brought some kids from Wofford that have really fit in well in the ACC. They're talented. They're skillful. And they know Mike and his, his approach, so they fit in very, very well and make the adjustment very, very quickly. I, I also think they've, they've done a great job of, of building internally. Uh, they uh, have great fan support, and our games with them last year were fantastic games, but no fans were there to, to watch it in person. But if you saw our game there, we had a shot at the buzzer, to either tie and put it into overtime or win, I'm not sure. And then they had a shot at the buzzer to tie it and put it into overtime and then won in overtime. Had our fans been there, both at our place and their place, th those those games would be, uh, you know, legendary now. On that note, how excited are you to finally play in front of a packed house, to, to go to Cameron Indoor and to, and to, to have a, a crowd screaming at you, even though it's a tough environment, it, it's, it's college basketball. Yeah, I, I, like, I like that environment at home. Yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> it's a little more challenging on the road. Virginia Tech's crowd is probably as rabid as I think is in the ACC. Uh, I think Duke's crowd is obviously legendary in terms of 
Cameron's always sold out, the student stand, there's always a lot of hoopla that goes along with it. Um, but the ACC from top to bottom, every place is a challenge. Appreciate it. you expect uh, Miller to make a successful transition from George Mason to the ACC as, uh, as you once did? Uh, he, he's doing a terrific job. And he, he's going to be an outstanding player in our league. Since you mentioned Cameron, I'm just curious, how, how far back do you go with, with Coach K, and did you have any thoughts about him in his final year here? Well, what's interesting is, is uh, uh, I was an assistant coach in the league, in the ACC, when Coach K arrived at Duke. Mm -hmm. And initially, we had some success against them. And uh, around year three, whatever, whatever Tommy Amaker's year was, 83-84 season, um, when those guys together, I was in charge of the scout, and I remember going into the staff meeting with game preparation and saying, these guys are ridiculously good. Coach K now has a great point guard running the show, a great scorer in Johnny Dawkins, two great wing players in uh, Henderson and Allery that can really shoot, and a tough, hard-nosed big guy in Jay Billis. They defend, they, they can score their brains out, and legitimately have a shot, get to the Final Four and win the national championship. How important is it for you and what you do to have had an offseason, obviously opposed to last year and all that type of stuff? How, how, how big has this offseason been? Well, the, the biggest thing is when you have so many new players. Half our, our roster is brand new. So for them to, uh, the newcomers, to work with the veterans, get to know each other, two transfers, Charlie Moore and, and um, uh, Jordan Miller, to make the adjustment, the transition from their league to our league, uh, has been very beneficial for them and for us. So very, very excited that uh, we've had good practices and good preparation leading up to November.